Hi guys. Oh, welcome to the kitchen, my friends. So I haven't painted for a couple of days. Well, I painted, but I haven't videoed for a couple of days. Um, and I haven't really painted anything that was really video worthy, I don't think, by normal things. So I've been crazy busy. This is my Sunday night. I go back to work tomorrow and my intentions for my days off this week were just to pour and have a fun and just do me things. And yeah, that just didn't happen once again. So here we go. We're going to swipe. So tonight I have a story to tell you because it just wouldn't be pouring with me if I didn't have a story. This is a four by 12 tile from Lowe's. They were almost so pretty I didn't want to paint on them. I quite liked them actually. And so I'm not sure why I have this horrible piece of plastic down because it's going to make me crazy. So let's just put that up there. Hopefully you guys are still in focus. So my base paint tonight is um, Sherwood Williams, this is the color to go paint that we can't seem to get anymore or no one seems to have. And there's where my story starts. So, uh, buff satin enamel, deco art. Um, I always tell everybody to, you know, source out, look for products in varying different places, garage sales, uh, marketplace. You don't have to buy brand spanking new to be creative, you guys. You absolutely do not have to. And so I'm always kind of not really being thrifty, but I'm, yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm cheap. I'm cheap, 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 you guys. So I surf marketplace and garage sale and all of those sites all the time. And I've picked up some really cool things. Like most of my tiles I've gotten for like free or cheap. And yeah, it all helps because pouring is expensive, as you all know. More white satin enamel. So we had, we'll go through colors because I won't remember. So we had a deco art satin enamel in buff mixed with a little bit of a cream paint from the dollar store. My second color was... Uh, a little bit of Payne's Gray mixed with Nebula by T.O.P. Second was, third was Lakeside by T.O.P. Then we had Red Oxide, which was a dry pigment, and Gold, Harvest Gold, T.L.P., and more beige buff, I guess is the technical name. More buff satin enamel by Decor. And a beautiful beige background. So back to my story. So, because I source out all the time, I came across this ad for paint. And it said, uh, many, many gallons of paint. I need a cloth, you guys. I'll just keep talking. Many, many gallons of paint, $5 a gallon or less if you buy in bulk. And I thought, oh, well, what's, what's going to possibly go wrong with this picture? Because it's too good to be true. And I've bought lots of paint online before and, you know, sometimes I get it home and it doesn't work or it's really old or whatever the circumstances are. So I, I ignored it the night before and then yesterday morning I got up and the ad was still in the paper in the marketplace from Facebook and I thought, you know what, I'm going to call this guy. So I called him and I asked him, you know, what he had and he said, oh, he had all kinds of stuff and different sheens and different amounts and different cans and if I wanted to come by and take a look, I could. So I said, sure. So he asked me what I was using it for and I told him and he kind of said, oh, cool and gave me his address. I said I'd be there in an hour and away I went. Did my errands and stopped by his house and when I got there, it was clearly either moving out or moving in or renovating. So I hollered in the front door and it was empty and the guy finally came around the corner and he's like, oh, hi, you know, who are you? And so I realized that, you know, he was expecting many people. So I explained who I was. So he said, oh yeah, come on back. And here he had like, like he said, gallons and gallons of paint. So we got talking and I went through, you know, what we do and how we use it and all the rest of it. And he was pretty excited about the whole thing. And he was very quiet at a certain point. And he was talking about the move and he said he lived in Penticton. And I said, oh, and you're moving out of Victoria. And he said, yeah, he already lives in Penticton. And he actually 
was here to clean out the family home once his wife and daughter left. And he was kind of still in that kind of broken up stage. And I felt so bad for him. So bad for him because, of course, I came in like an enthusiastic ball of energy. And, yeah, I felt really crappy. So I just kind of said to him, you know, I know it doesn't help for people to say it gets better, but it does. And we've all been through it and blah, blah, blah. So on we got to paint. So I showed him a bunch of pictures of what we do. And he turned out to be a graffiti artist. So he shared a whole bunch of different graffiti things in Greater Victoria that he had done. And he was really excited that his house paints were going to be used for art. So he said, oh, you need to try this and oh, you need to try that. And then he started asking me what I paint on. And I told him generally, you know, tiles, but I do paint on canvas. And he's like, oh, I got all these canvases. I should just give them all to you. And it's like, well, most of them were painted. And somebody had bought them and I said well you know to be honest if you if the person is using them for the art value I don't I don't give them to me because I'm going to paint over them and he said no they're painting over them too so he ended up loading up my car with all these canvases and then he gave me a whole bunch of like canvases that were printed in varying sizes from you know, the brick or wherever. And then he said, oh, will you do something big if I gave you a big canvas? And I said, well, yeah, I'm always game to try anything. And he brings out these two huge four by four canvases, brand new, um, puts them in my car. It's like, oh goodness. Yeah, super, super nice guy. Super nice guy. So yeah, it was kind of, Kind of an interesting morning so I came home I unloaded all my stuff and I had had got new gutters put on the house yesterday and they were noisy and banging and thumping and crashing so I just thought well I'm not going to be able to concentrate painting and I'm certainly not going to be able to video so that was my excuse to just be super lazy watch tv all afternoon really and then today I got to do all the fun things that women get to do on their days off laundry cleaning, dusting, cleaned all my drawers out, got rid of a bunch of clothes. You know how you have all those clothes that you sit and look at in your closet and you think, oh yeah, I, really, I just love that. And I think, yeah, but you haven't worn it for two years now. I got rid of all of those things. Good, good on me. Okay, so this is very busy. Um, my base coat, though, is one of the colors that this guy gave me. Kind of a really pretty buff color. Definitely a me color. Um, yeah, lots of beiges, lots of grays. So, um, well, it says brown in the can, but when I opened it, it didn't appear to be brown. Here comes my daughter with the baby monitor, because now I'm on monitor duty. Give it a push. Hi, sweets. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, good luck. Am I turn it down one? No, that's fine. Okay. All right, bye. <laughs> so now I'm on Grandma Beauty. Uh, the monitor has just come up so they can go for a walk. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot to this. It's really quite busy. And the satin enamel does in buff what the same as it does in white. So it has that beautiful, kind of cloudy soft look and I really really like it um, so I might just leave this alone I'm gonna take a little bit of paint off this corner kind of got sparkle where it needs and softness where it needs and I don't know. I don't know if I can do anything to it to, well, I can always improve on everything. Always improve on everything. I don't know that I want to embellish though.
you know what? I might just kind of sit on it and let it breathe until morning and then make my evaluation. I am. I'm going to just let it sit, you guys. I'm going to put it that way. Just a second, wipe off my edges. And I'm going to take off my gloves because I took my paint case off my phone. If you could see, my, my paint case looked like it was pretty embarrassing actually. So it's soaking. So there we go. So actually I gotta turn, oh goodness. Now we're on flash. So there is its entire whole piece. It's quite pretty. It's quite pretty with the satin enamel. Um, it's really hard for you guys to see what I'm seeing. And if I had to choose an orientation for this piece, it would probably be that way. Uh, so yeah, let's just kind of go up. But look at that sparkle, you guys. Lovely, lovely, soft. Pretty, pretty shading. Yeah, I like it a bunch. All right, my friends, love you and leave you here. Now that I've probably given anybody with vertigo watching my videos, probably just tripping right now. Okay, guys, there it is. That's the whole piece. End for end, four by 12. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen tonight. You guys are awesome. Thank you for listening to me ramble on my stories. Um, I always have something to say, guys. All right, my friends, poor happy, stay safe. It's only paint. We can all do this. Everyone can do this. Okay, guys, bye.